Light Talk Episode 19. Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Light Talk episode. My name is Manny and you can still find me on Facebook at Retail Pro. In today's Light Talk, we're going to talk about a one light setup, but using two different light modifiers on the set. So let's head right into there. Okay, so on the screen right away, you guys can see that we have a really cool shot here of two rally drivers standing in front of their presented ready car. So again, also on a really cool uh, location with a nice background and the sun in the back and from the front a really nice punchy light. So I started out first of all, obviously this was all faked in Photoshop. So my first shot here, which you also see on the screen right now, is again just the whole composition, the car in the background and having Yaku, my assistant, stand as just a pre-model so I can get focus and see the light and everything. So I started working out just with the apertures and shutter accordingly to the sunlight, so the ambient light. You can see also that it's pretty hard, it's around 10, 11 a.m and also giving me a nice hard crisp light on the back already. So the sun is behind my subject. Again, first of all, I wanted to have a really nice rim light around the subject and then second of all, fill it up again from the front, the shadows with a nice key light. So let's have a look at the final or first shot actually here, which is now Yaku also filled up all the shadows with just a beauty dish straight from the front. So again, the first light has a beauty dish, it's a silver inlined, no grid and no diffusion material in that beauty dish. Super hard, pumpy, bam, onto him that it looks really nice. Then also with this, I really wanted to have just a few shadows. So placing the subject a little bit off and also my light a little bit more to the left side here of the subject. So again, having a bit of shadows and a bit of depth, bit of manly and power, bit of grunginess in there if you ask me. So yeah, that was my idea and then I only have the light from the back and the front. And then obviously having two subjects now, the first subject, a nice big man standing in the foreground and the smaller guy a little bit in the back, but also not too far apart, they are pretty close to each other, just looks a bit far on the picture. And then also again, important that it's not overexposing in the front, so the light is right on the first subject and also still enough light on the second subject. If you want, you can also work with a the reflector there too, but I got away with just using the beauty dish. Great, so that was all just for shooting the two subjects. So having just the light from the back and also one beauty dish from the front. But then I went on, obviously the car is the whole time in the background because I won't move it and I shoot everything on a tripod here. So I can now light up the car separately, work a little bit on the tires, the whole body and create a really nice image just out of that composition with that one car shot. So again, Yaku went off and has a strip light now, so again using the same light but just with a different light modifier, this time a strip softbox, also with no grid, I want a lot of spill, so just one strip light with diffusing material in there as well. And you guys can also see here on the picture, again going around the car, shooting different plates in order to light up different areas of the car and get away with just using one light. So if I'm gonna go through, you guys can see the Yaku is moving actually around, my assistant, and helping me to capture just the best parts of the car, especially the, those tires here that are really, really dark. So yeah, bring that all together in Photoshop and then like a big burger, stack everything together and have a really cool patty of layers. So first of all, the car with a few different layers of the car and then I merged it out with masks, only the things that I need. And then again, my two subjects, cut those out and place them also in on my main layer. And then obviously adding a really cool background and again some sun flare here and some colors and voila! There you go, your final image with only one light and two light modifiers. So yeah, a super easy technique to replicate guys. Anyone can do this and if you want to know more about this, let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear what you think about this. And if you want to download this episode or try something else, have a look on the website is and are actually a few more light talks. Yeah, so thanks again guys for watching. Do give me a thumbs up if you enjoy this content and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch you all in the next Light Talk. And you are still here and still want more Light Talks. Yes! Then you should just click here on the right hand side. There are a few more Light Talks. We've bundled everything for you. Or check again on the website.